All right, coaches, continue on now looking at our sky left return. We talked about cloud left for the deep ball that we know what side of the field it's going, or we at least know what half it's going to. Now we transition to, I. now we know the kicker is going to sky. We know they're going to kick short. I am not a fan, and I am not in favor of fair catch in any football, and that's going to be behind the 40-yard line. Uh, I have done it. I've done it in the, uh, the, uh, the or ran this return in the fourth round of the playoffs against a very good football team in the regional championship. Um, and our returner caught the ball running straight ahead at the 38-yard line, uh, and it worked. And so I'm not, I'm not giving you something that I've never tried. I, I'm, I'm giving you things uh, that, that we have tried and, and that we know work, right? But looking at our sky left return, let's first talk about alignment. Uh, in our cloud return, our fullback was on the 25 and, and pretty much centered in the field. He's now moved to the 32, and he's working off the hash that we know, because now we know, right, that the ball is over, uh, is off center. We know that uh, the ball is here, the kicker's here. It's obvious that they're going to sky it, and that's what we're looking at here. So he's moved from the 25 to the 32 uh, to the hash uh, that, that we know the ball's coming to. Our ends now have moved up from the 30, or the, the, the play side end has now moved from the 30 to the 38 on the numbers. The off end, he has moved off the 30-yard line, and he's now split and hashing numbers, uh, but he's still at the 30-yard line. The play side returner has come all the way from the 10-yard uh, the line, now up to the 20. Uh, the middle returner has moved from the 5 in the middle of the field to the 10 on the hash, and the off returner has moved off the 10-yard line uh, to the hash uh, and the 15-yard line. So this is our alignment. What I love about our sky return is it is the exact same assignments as they had on cloud. They don't have to learn any new assignments. It's blocking the exact same people. It's just blocking them a little bit faster and a little bit more tighter or of a com uh, more confined space. So looking at this, uh, if you remember the, the, the front line, uh, they were at the 47, 48 yard line. Uh, they now, if it's a sky, they might move up to the 49-yard line, but they'll stay in that general 48, 49-yard line. The key for them, though, here, uh, before we told them their blocks would happen at around the 38 or somewhere between the 40 and the 35-yard line, now the front line blocks are going to happen before the 40-yard line. All right? But my left tackle, he's still going to kick out number one. My fullback, uh, before he was told that he's, he's going to block, uh, uh, the, that his block will happen around the 35, now it's going to happen around the 38, but he's still kicking number two. He's still going straight ahead. My left guard is still dropping to the top of the numbers, and he's going to flip the hips and seal three to the inside. My, uh, my left end, uh, now he may not be uh, coming up at all. He may just be lateral here, but he's still going to catch number four and running to the inside. All right, The center is still dropping. Uh, to the hash, flipping his hips, and keeping number five to the inside. This off returner is still working downhill, and that's a key for him. He can't be lateral, taking his time. All right, on the on the on the kick of the football. If we think it's a sky, if we've called it a sky, uh, and it is a sky, he's got to be hauling butt. All right, but he's still getting uh, to the opposite hash, and then working uh, to keep number six. Uh, to the right of the football. This end is still working across the field and getting seven and keeping seven uh, to the right of the football. This guard's still working to the upright. Again, the block is still happening at, uh, in front of the 40-yard line. And now we know for a fact if, if uh, whichever one of these two uh, players based on film is the safety, uh, now we would expect him to go right away. And so we tell this tackle, to go right as uh, go right away as well, but he still has the safety, and those are the exact same blocks they had on cloud. And that's one thing I do love about these returns is that there really are no new assignments that we have to learn. Okay. The other key, and I've talked about this block here, but the other key to this return is whichever returner, whether you know if that ball kicks here, uh, then I could see the middle returner coming here the left returner making sure he catches it, uh, and then he lead blocks. But it doesn't matter. Uh, whichever one catches it, this has to happen. 
He cannot catch it slowing down. So if that ball's here, this returner, I would expect him to be sprinting, and as he catches the football, continue on a sprint right up the sideline. Now, you know, I know you say, Coach, that you're putting a lot of trust that you're going to make these blocks. Yes, I am. But I'm telling you that, that if you have those kinds of kids uh, who are uh, obviously great athletes, but to be fearless to go with it, then this sideline return, even if they kick it deep, or in this instance, if they kick it shallow and you have to do a sky check, could be absolutely deadly.